Okay, if anybody says Lens Law or Eddy Current during this video, the comment will be removed because a description is not an explanation. One of the hardcore fundamental facts of Platonic logic and wisdom is a description is never an explanation. So if you say Lens Law or Eddy Current, all you're doing is parroting some nonsense you read or saw somewhere online. So don't say Lens Law or Eddy Current because a description is never and not an explanation. I've actually zeroed out the scale. This actually averages between 1.2 ounces and 1.4 ounces. We don't need to be super specific here, so let's remove the neodymium iron magnet, neodymium iron boron, and let's place a copper tube here so we got it zeroed out. Yeah, we do. Zero it out. Let's place our copper tube here. Kind of hard to balance it on its end. There we go. There we go. So. 13.4 ounces. So, since there's no contact between the magnet other than some slight scuffing when I drop it down the pipe, what do you think will happen? Now, don't say lens lower eddy current, so we'll actually have a right hand rule applied here. But, since there's no power to the neodymium iron bore, and what we're actually causing is an induction in the copper pipe, you're going to say, well, the, the weight is not going to change. Well, weight is not mass, mass is never equal to weight. Weight is always location specific, vector specific, medium specific, and phase specific. If you actually take an object out in space relative to the Earth and it weighs one kilogram here and you instantaneously change its distance closer, closer to E1, where we have E2, E3. Both of these are the same weight, right? You instantly change distance go from one kilogram to two kilograms or three kilograms. So weight is not equal to mass. If weight is always location, vector, medium, and phase specific, then weight is an irrelevancy, only relational to location, vector, medium, and phase. So what do you think will happen when I actually drop the neodymium down the pipe? Okay, 13.4 ounces, the weight of the copper tube. We know this weighs basically 1.4 ounces. So let's gently Drop it down the pipe, and here we have 14.3, 14.4 average. And when it hits, it'll actually add about almost another half an ounce. So we had the one ounce in falling and the additional half an ounce when it landed. So now we're weighing actually the uh, neodymium iron boron and the copper pipe. Together they weigh 14.9 ounces, right? Why, yes, they do. So, since there's only light scuffing as the magnet actually falls down the copper pipe, and like I say, saying Lens Law and Eddy Current doesn't explain anything. Anybody could pair it something they see online. Well, Lens Law is well understood. Is it really? You'll actually find no explanation for Lens Law or Eddy Current anywhere online or in a scientific journal. Well, sure, we have right hand rule of EM uh, induction right here. The magnets falling down the copper pipe. We have right hand rule applicable here, and we have what was specifically called electromagnetic retardation as it's falling down. Okay, but there's no contact between the pipe and the magnet as it's falling. I'm gonna actually drop it and let you see the scale. Raises by an ounce, and when it hits, it'll gain its additional half ounce basically. Okay. Since there is no contact between the copper pipe and the neodymium iron boron, and it only shows two ounces right now because it's very close to the center where there's ferromagnetic acceleration, or what you'd, the common human being calls magnetic attraction. Its actual weight is 1.2 to 1.4 ounces. What is actually going on? It's partially explained in electromagnetic retardation theory relativity by Dr. Oleg Dijefeminko, Gravitation and Coke Gravitation, which bases upon an article by Oliver Heaviside in a really good book, Causality and Electromagnetic Induction and Gravitation by Dr. Oleg D. Jefeminko. So, we are using the copper pipe and the right hand rule to cause EMR, what the common fool calls Lenz Law, or eddy current. But, where is the additional one ounce coming from since there's no contact between the copper pipe and the neodymium iron boron? Do you have the answer? If gravity doesn't exist, and of course it doesn't, gravity is not an autonomous field modality, then what we could have if an object is accelerating or trying to decelerate away from, say this is the earth underneath, and this is an object of some variety, we could actually apply the right hand rule by placing super power generators inside our little 
object here and applying the same right hand rule without the copper pipe. Are you listening closely? Apply the right hand rule such that mass one equaling 10 can drop to mass one with power applied, right hand rule, RHR, right hand rule, mass one being equal to 10, if we apply using our generator right here through vectorized electromagnetic retardation, there's all the math in the world in this book, by the way, some of which I can't even understand. It's actually quite complex, but a lot of it's pretty simplex. Two doctorate degrees, by the way, Dr. Oleg Dijefomenko. What we can transform is mass one from 10 to mass one being this big no, and then with a proper application of the right hand rule through internal power, instead of doing this number, we can do this number. There's no such thing as gravity. Everything is electrical. The same thing that occurs between this pipe and this neodymium iron boron can be applied with the right hand rule if you want to say eddy current. Eddy current. It's not an eddy current. Weight is location specific, medium specific, vector specific, and phase specific. Only thing we have to do is apply sufficient power at the right hand rule at the proper vector to the point of acceleration. And what? That's correct. Mass equals zero, and then force applied to direction of travel.